Okay, here we have um, October, November, sorry, February, March 2018, the latest paper. Okay, um, no March scheme available right now, as far as I know. Uh, of May, sorry, of um, 2018, paper four, variant two. And here, in, I've been asked to do number three. Here we have a question about graphs of functions, and we're supposed to draw this graph. Uh, we're going to start with part A, where we have to make this table. So we need to substitute these values into the function. Now, um, a very good um, tip that I always suggest to my students when you're doing a question like this, just to anticipate in case you've made some sort of mistake, is to do the following. Okay, is to basically choose a value that you already know the x and y values for, preferably a negative value, where there's no negative values here, so you can't really do anything like that, and put that into the formula and see if you get the right answer out okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say okay two times i'll put bracket with the value of x in there so i'm going to choose let me just choose something similar like two okay two times two okay then i'm going to put plus that's one divided by one divided by so i'll write that as a fraction as it is here so one over again the value of that i've chosen is two and then plus um, minus 3, sorry, minus 3, that's the equation. Okay, so 2 times 2 plus 1 over 2 minus 3, like, whoops, one second, that minus 3 is not supposed to, supposed to be outside of this fraction, minus 3, okay, and then I press equals, and I see I get 3 over 2, which is the same as 1.5, and that's exactly what happens when I put 2 into the, that's exactly what we see in the table, so that means it seems like I've used the formula in the correct manner, so I can then quite um, confidently go ahead and put in the, the missing value. So I can just change this uh, 2 for uh, 0 0.5. So I go delete 0 0.5. But I must put it every place where that x was. That 2 there becomes 0 0.5. Press equals, and I get 0. So when x is 0 0.5, y is equal to 0. And I do the same thing for 0 0.75. So 0 0.75, go back, change that for 75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 equals, I get minus 1 over 6, which gives you minus 0 0.16 recurring. Minus, oops, gives us minus, that's not my calculator there, negative, one point is minus one over six, okay, which is minus zero point one six recurring, which gives you minus zero point one seven to two decimal places as they want here. So negative zero point one seven. Everything's in two decimal places. And then you put two point five into the same formula and we get out okay, so you, oh I've lost the formula, but anyway, I'll do it again. So two times two point five plus 1 over 2.5 okay and minus 3 that gives you 12 over 5 which is 2.4 okay so we get 2.4 for the last value here now it's for us to plot these points so let's now go to the graph and put them here's I've just made this a bit earlier so I can Bring it closer and see what I'm plotting. So the first point is x is 0 0.125 and y is 5.25. Now we've got to look at the scales of this axis. A lot of students have trouble with this. That's why I'm I'm not just giving you something I prepared earlier. I'm going to do this, even though it'll take some time. All right. So we got x is 0 0.125. Now a lot of students are confused how to plot these such such points as this. Now you've got to look at the scale. Now, the scale of the x-axis, you can see here, 0 0.5 is made up of 10 squares. And so if you think about it, every two squares is going to be 0 0.1. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and so on. Okay, so 0 0.125, well, that's 0 0.1, that's 0 0.15, that's 0 0.125. It's exactly halfway between these two squares. So it's halfway between these two squares. I'm going to just put this so I can see what's going on, because I can't see what's above. Because um, I have to plot 5.25, so I'm going to go up to 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25, 5.25,
Okay, so 5.25, all right. That's five, if you look at this scale, you got, that must be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and so on. So each one is 0.1. We've got to plot 5.25. And this, in this place here, 5.25. So that's 5, 5.1, 5 5.2. 5 5.25 5 will be right slap bang in the middle of this square. Okay, I'm going to circle it, and I'm going to put the dot there so we can see it. It should be visible. Okay, so that's the first point. I'll just get rid of this. I just did that so I could see what I was. <clears throat> All right, so now, next point we've got to plot is 0 0.25 and 1.5. Well, that's a bit easier. 0 0.25, that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, and 1.5 is going to be right at this point, right, right here. Okay, then you've got uh, 0 0.375 and 0 0.42. 0 point, that's 0 0.1, 2, 3, this is that's 0 0.3, that's 0 0.35, that's 0 0.375, halfway between these two, and 0 0.42, so 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's going to be somewhere over there. Try to be as accurate as you can. And then you've got 0 0.5 and 0, well that's pretty easy, 0 0.5 and 0 is just in this place here. Now what I don't want to see is these big blobs like that, when you plot points, next you put a small dot and a circle, or you should put a very thin cross. Okay, those are acceptable ways to plot, not big blob. Okay, then it says um, 0 0.75, let's go down a bit, 0 0.75 and negative 1.75, 0 0.17. 0 0.75 and negative 0 0.17. So 0 0.75, that's 0 0.5, that's 0 0.6, that's 0 0.75, and minus 0 point, 0 0.17, that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So it's going to be almost 0 0.2, but just below it. Uh, sorry. We've got 0 0.75, which is here. Um, 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.75, which is, that's 0 0.6, 0 0.75, and minus 0 0.17, that's minus 0 point, that's, that's minus 0 0.2 here, so it's going to be somewhere over in this region here. Plus to is at minus 0 0.2. Okay, and then you've got 1 and 0. Then you've got 1.5 and 0 0.67. That's 0 0.67, that's 1.5, that's 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's just below 0 0.7. And you've got 2 and 1.5. That's right here. And you've got 2.5 and 2.4. That's one, two, three, four. And finally, we have three and 3.33. 3. So three and 3.1, two, three, three, something like that. Okay, so those, those are our points that we plotted and now we have to draw a smooth curve that goes through them, which is very difficult for me to do on this tablet, but I'll try my best. So basically you, you try a trial run through these points. I would turn the page upside down if I was able to. Uh, so my palm is on the inside of the curve. It's a bit easier to plot when your palm is on the inside. And then you just take a few trial runs, okay, without touching the pen to paper, just to make sure, concentrate. And then you just say, Bismillah, and you start. Okay, there's one. That's not very good, is it? Okay. There we have it. One. All right, that's actually not too bad, is it? Mm, I'm quite proud of that, although it's a bit it's a bit difficult with this tablet thing to do it, but um, it's not bad, okay? That's a pretty good attempt, I'd say. Um, so here we have the graph drawn. Okay, you can continue on this way if you want to, that's fine, because it follows the same sort of pattern. Okay, you can continue on if you want to, just, uh, you could even find some more points, but it has the same sort of plan, I'm now ruining my graph, but anyway, something like that. Okay, now, that's part B, that's A and B done, okay, um, part C and D I will do in a minute once I've, um, okay, started the next video, okay.